Total solar eclipses. They mean so much more when they happen to Americans. Most things <laughs> do. Overnight, we got to see them lose their American minds over, to be fair, a genuinely amazing celestial event. Oh. Across North America, they prepare. I got the certified safety eyewear. I got UV filters for my camera. There were high-powered telescopes, even low-powered telescopes, and astrologers were buzzing. The solar eclipse in Aries is an opportunity to become more emotionally self-aware. And what's really interesting is Mercury's retrograde. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes directly in front of the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. And mid-morning US time, this one started. And 32 million people living under its path looked up to the heavens. Oh, my neck. I can almost see the squirrel's whiskers. <laughs> it's like a banana now. Be as big enough, it's going to completely block the sun from us. Yeah. Those with a good view saw a totality that lasted past four minutes. Even I stayed up to watch the live feed. I can't wait for this. It looked like a sunset all around, but without the sun. It got really dark. It was like nighttime. <laughs> Everyone went, yeah, you know, like, when it was total. Yeah. I just felt like, whoa, it's like dark. It's like 140 dark. I was like, oh, it's so, it was just all, so surreal. I think the most awe-inspiring part for me was... <laughs> darker, like, and you're like, why is it getting darker? Oh, yeah, because the sun's disappearing. It was definitely tear worthy, once in a lifetime. It was just as like, I just started tearing up and I was like breathing really hard. It's like freaky. I noticed that the birds kind of lost their direction. <laughs> Have I caught you up here looking at heavenly bodies again? No. Here's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Meteorologist Todd Gross drove for seven hours across the states to get the best view of the eclipse. Todd, welcome. We're hearing this was the best eclipse ever. So was it? it yeah, it oh, really was. And oh. I've, I've seen eight of them. So I, I got to oh. tell you, this was the most emotional and moving, yes. Oh. Describe what it's like watching it unfold. I mean, for people like Sam who've never actually looked mm -hmm. up. Never done it. Never will. Okay, so... <laughs> The first thing to understand is there's nothing that can prepare you because it doesn't look like any picture that you've ever seen. Oh. It's more of a feeling than Ooh. what you're seeing. And what you are seeing is just emotional, it's primal in nature, and it has oh. some sort of connection that I'd say is just like hardwired to your heart. And that's why here in the United States, so many people are kind of going crazy right now because it went through a really big city. It went through Dallas, Fort Worth. So now all these people have basically had their lives changed and now are also, going, like me, going to become eclipse chasers, which may have an impact on you guys in the next few years, which I'll tell you about. So the astrologers were onto something then. Big transformation yeah. energy. <laughs> and everyone's gone a bit cuckoo. Yeah, you know, there was a little bit of an exaggeration there in some extent, but in others, it's not an exaggeration at all. There really is that, uh, you know, crazy emotional connection that changes your life. It really, it really does. How are you feeling about this, Sam? Is this helping you? I've or? seen the dark. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, I get it. It's fine, all right? I'm scared of the dark. Is that what you want me to admit on TV? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually not even even though it gets really dark really quickly it's like a deep twilight and it just oh. is surreal like the lighting changes all of a sudden just prior to it happening but the whole time that light is becoming weirder and weirder during the partial stage of the eclipse and it's only the total part of the eclipse that's really super interesting you know the part that is mind-blowing but it all happens all of a sudden and the way it accelerates the lack of light makes you feel a certain way it's majestic you could go throughout the world looking for the most amazing sights no matter what you have seen this is the most majestic thing you will ever see australia will have a a total solar eclipse understanding like 2028 2028 it's it's really knocking at the door well you're coming down oh absolutely i don't think you guys realized what just happened to you in australia in the united states because it was clear over most of the path and because it went over so many populated areas, so many people now from here oh. are going to go to you in 2028. We're going to help pack your country in a way that I don't think you've ever seen during an eclipse before. It goes oh. right through Sydney 
and it's four minutes long, and it goes right, it crisscrosses your country from northwest to southeast, and it ends up going offshore right over Sydney. And just like today, dead in the middle of the day, the same thing is going to happen to you guys as well as it passes over that big city. And it's going to be very impressive. Okay, Todd, thanks for chatting. Take care.